Hey guys, I'm so excited to be back with a meal plan for this week and grocery haul video, getting back on track, getting back to um, being accountable for the food that I buy and the meals that I make. So let's go ahead and check out this week's meal plan and so grocery this haul. This is for the current week of February 25th, which was yesterday. So sorry I didn't get this video up. I actually went grocery shopping today, the 26th, and I'll explain what's been going on through March the 3rd. So I've got some really easy recipes. These are recipes that I've used. And this week on my channel, I'm gonna have a yummy treat that I'm gonna go ahead and make and share in a video. Hopefully, um, if it comes out good, I have not made this before. So definitely click that bell notification. Make sure you're subscribed to see what I am making this week. Um, last couple weeks have been crazy. I mean, you know how life gets when you're trying to plan grocery shopping, plan your family. Um, my mother was in the hospital, so that was a very hard time. And she's still been sick. She has gout now. So it's just a multitude of things that have been going on. My son got sick. And then most recently, I got sick. So I have been sick for like two weeks nonstop. Um, just crazy with all these flu bugs, the cough, all of this stuff. And, um, you know, taking medicine obviously helped it, but I still don't feel 100%. So I kind of got off my track on meal planning and we were kind of in survival mode. And when you're in survival mode for grocery shopping, always make sure your pantry is stocked with simple meals that you can just make. Mac and cheese or chicken nuggets for the kids. For me, when I'm not feeling good or I'm rushed, I can eat soup. I can eat oatmeal for dinner. I'm not a picky eater. Tuna is always great to have on hand as well. So we went into survival mode. We actually did really good. For a couple days, I wasn't even eating like food food. You know, it was pretty much just soup and liquids and that was it. So, um, you know, even when you're not planning, you can still be planning, but in a very now simple that I'm back way. on track, I will be having these videos up on Monday. The goal is early Monday to get started for the week. Sundays are usually low key days. So even though this meal plan started on Sunday, it's always leftovers because Sundays are a bum day here because we're getting ready for school. We're doing all that kind of stuff, last minute things. It's not a day generally where I will cook, whereas Saturday is a day where I'll make something and then Sunday we'll just eat it for leftovers. So um, two grocery stores, I went to Aldi and then I went to Jewel Foods. We have a lot of pantry items still that we're using um, and we have a lot of meat. Um, one meat that I will be finishing this week is chicken. So I definitely need to get some chicken next week. This week, the fruit was thumbs down. I didn't go to the fruit market, but at Aldi, I stayed away from it. Um, we pretty much just got salad, didn't get any fruit. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. Um, but next week I'm gonna be getting fruit. The good thing is, is we have frozen fruit, so we're doing like smoothies and things like that. Um, so that is always good to do. Two stores this week, I went a little bit over more than I wanted to spend with my $250 budget every two weeks. So typically I wanna spend $125 a week. This week, I went over a decent amount, but um, you know, you'll see what we got. We got some, some meat, we got some staple items that I needed to make some of the recipes for things that I didn't have. So um, it was still okay. Okay guys, here is my week grocery haul for this week, a ton and ton of things. So you've probably been wondering where have my hauls been on my channel? Well, a lot of th different things have been happening. Um, so life kind of took over, but we're back on track and we actually did really good. It's just, I wasn't able to go ahead and record my videos regularly as I wanted to. So we are in more of a kick. Of course, there's always snacks and things like that, but we're trying to get, you know, like organic eggs. And right now we have a ton of almond milk, so we don't need any of that, but almond butter and just different things. We're trying to be a little bit more conscious of what we're eating, our meat and things like that. So with Aldi, there are some really good options. So we did get two dozen of your organic large brown eggs, some garlic bread, some wheat bread, cottage cheese, that's like a staple item, yogurt, that's an always a, a go-to item. Got some juice boxes for the kids, this will be for their lunches. Now I needed some, um, 
powdered sugar and brown sugar for a recipe that I will be doing on my channel. So it is a um, candy, so definitely look out for that. And I needed some white, um, some milk chocolate chips as well. We got this big old bag of jasmine rice, some green onion that I need for a recipe, and a big old container of spring mix. We got some apple juice, some orange juice there, good old chocolate milk. Couple cans of salsa, one for some chips that we already have in our pantry and one for a recipe. We got some of those Baby Bell cheeses here, the six pack and some butter spread there. And some mac and cheese, 33 cents. We needed ketchup and mustard. We, we don't go through these items very, you know, as quick. So it was time to go ahead and replenish those. Some strawberry applesauces for lunches. The kids really like the home run-in pizzas. Now I know Aldi has the cheaper pizza, but this is kind of our go-to pizza. They really, really like it. Um, even better than, much better than the Aldi brand. Um, I got some butter for my baking and cooking, some meat spaghetti sauce, and then a big old container of peanut butter and a small container of almond butter. The peanut butter is for one of my recipes, so definitely stay tuned for that. Crackers, I got some cheese, so I love these garden vegetable crackers. They are so good. Um, a buttermilk pancake mix for pancakes for the kids. We got the fruit and grain bars in strawberry. These are always $1.39, sometimes less at my store. We are going to try these. Um, Garlic, olive oil, bow tie, pasta crackers. Never tried them before. Some instant brown rice for our dog. I don't get him these cans all the time because sometimes they tend to um, not agree with him. But um, this is a treat for him, two cans. Always get my mixes at Aldi. I got a chili packet and two low-sodium taco packets. Swiss cake rolls, eight, I think these are like 89 cents all the time, so a really good deal. Buttered popcorn, I wanna try this cookies and chocolate crunchy granola in my yogurt. This looks really good. These I've noticed at my Aldi, these chewy dipped um, bars, they come in peanut butter too, are always 79 cents, so a really great deal for six bars. Some cheese crackers, these are things that we'll just put in lunches. The kids like these peanut butter cookies. They kind of remind me of the Girl Scout cookies. Cinnamon toast sticks, pepperoni. This is for um, a recipe I'll be making this week. And I'll share my um, meal plan with you guys um, right after my haul. Some flour tortillas, kettle chips, a three bean chili mix, some scalloped potatoes, a package of chicken nuggets, We've got a package of chicken fajitas. Gonna try these country potatoes. Love these cheese cubes, so easy for lunches and things like that to just put a couple in. Mozzarella, and then here is Love Pepper Jack. Got some Pepper Jack, these are so good. I'm not a huge sausage fan, but this never any chicken sausage, and this is in the apple is so good. I think there's a tomato and basil, but I haven't tried that yet, but the apple is so good. We just have this with some shredded peppers. You can put some onions in there. You can put some mushrooms in there. You can put it over pasta, or you can just skip the pasta and eat it, but it's very good. This little pork roast, some grilled chicken strips for the salad, two pounds of the grass-fed ground beef. Now I do have some ground turkey. I think I have three rolls of ground turkey in the freezer still. Italian sausage. We already went there. So that was everything from Aldi that I got. And I'll show you guys the receipt in a second. And then I went to a store here <clears throat> called Jewel. And I just picked up a couple things. I forgot buns. So I grabbed hot dog buns and then I grabbed some wheat buns. I've got a ton of um, hot dogs in the freezer so we'll probably make hot dogs for the kids or we'll all just have hot dogs one day just to I have a lot so just to get into those um, some olive garden croutons for my salad here is a three color pepper and onion strips mix I'm gonna actually break this up and use it in two recipes I needed some cheddar jack cheese my kids love these string cheeses so I picked up these 
as did I pick up some ham and American Lunchables. My son likes, he likes the turkey. They didn't have turkey, so I had to get him ham. And then my daughter likes these cheesy pizzas, so I picked up two of them. Some white onions, my favorite dressing, Olive Garden Italian. Pastas, I needed a whole bunch of pastas for some, again, some recipes that I'm hoping to try. So they had um, buy one, get one free, so I picked up different ones there. And then some fruit snacks for the kids. So that is everything. This is a week grocery haul. Now my two week budget is $250, but this week it was kind of, we went a little bit over where we should have, but um, let me okay, show you so the receipt. So first I'm gonna go into the jewel receipt. Um, not really great, great savings this week. And I think I had a coupon on the string cheese, but I did not use it. They were two for $6. So you'll see that my total was $31.57. Okay, so here is my Aldi receipt. I will just kind of scan through it for you guys. The organic brown eggs are $3.49. The jasmine rice was $4.79. That's a really big bag. The fajita skillets, $4.99. So those are higher priced ticket items. The um, grass-fed ground beef, $5.29. Um, yeah, those are like the bigger items, $4.89. The almond butter, definitely a higher ticket priced item. So my total at Aldi's was $131.70. So total for both stores came to $163.27. So this this week, week, my um, meal plan sheet is a little bit different than normal. Um, it is going to be just for dinners, and I'm just going to go over items that we'll be having for breakfast and lunch, because lunch during the week is really easy. It's just, you know, the kids are in school, so I mean, it's not like I'm preparing food and things like that. So this week, the kids, I did get them a couple of Lunchables. I'm not a huge fan of Lunchables, but they had asked for those. I did get some juice boxes. They will be taking water as well. I did buy fruit snacks. Fruit snacks is not something that I normally get on a regular. My son does have ADHD and fruit snacks overall just aren't a great thing. Um, but they haven't had them in a while. So um, they will be having fruit snacks. I got string cheese. I got Gogurts last week um, on sale. So I will be. they will be finishing those. And I got the big 16 pack. So they have quite a few yet left crackers, I got granola bars, applesauce cups. So those are little things that they'll put in their lunch. No lunch meat this week. We are doing a no lunch meat week. Um, I just feel like we're getting lunch meat kind of more on a regular than I want to. So next week you'll be seeing us getting like turkey and cheese and things like that. So for lunch, it's gonna be the Lunchables, peanut butter and jelly, along with mac and cheese in their thermos for one day. So that is what I have for the kids meals. My kids never buy uh, lunch at school. They do not like hot lunch at school. They just like whatever I prepare for them. So I make my kids a lunch every day. Um, breakfast, I bought pancake mix this week. Haven't been to Walmart in a while. I like to get it at Walmart. I haven't been to Walmart in months, really. So I don't even know if I'm going back to Walmart. I've had some bad experiences there. Got some French toast sticks for the kiddos. Cereal, we got eggs. Oatmeal, it's CVS this week. If you watch my couponing haul, um, last week actually I loaded up on oatmeal. I have cream of wheat that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm the only one that really like eats that. So I'll be eating that. Then we have things like toast. We still have waffles in our freezer. So that will be for breakfast. Lunch, I go super simple. Sometimes I don't even eat lunch. Like I'll make a smoothie or I'll make a protein shake. Um, but we have tuna, salad, soup, um, all of that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and check out okay, our this is dinner a new meal plan. meal plan that I started to use. You know, meal plans should just be super simple. If you're spending a lot of time organizing them and creating them, I think it's time wasted. And I found that, you know, with the other sheet that I was using with breakfast and lunch, sometimes life is unexpected. Sometimes we just grab a yogurt in the morning um, with some granola. I mean, it can be that simple. So planning those meals, I was finding I was sweating over more than I should have because like I said, during the week, the kids are in school. So as long as I'm packing them a lunch with something to eat, um, they're good to go and I can take care of myself. And my husband will pack a lunch with leftovers. He's 
just like me, we are not picky. So this Sunday, the 25th, we just did leftovers. Now today, which is the day that I'm filming, um, you'll see in our haul we got some grilled, uh, not grilled burgers, but we got some grass-fed ground beef. Yummy. We got two pounds of that. So we made quite a few grilled burgers. I think my husband made eight grilled burgers. And then um, some hot dogs as well that we had in the freezer. And then just toss green salad that you'll see that we got. So tomorrow on Tuesday, we will definitely be doing leftovers for like lunch and um, dinner. It's kind of whatever we want to eat. But I'm also going to be making a crock pot pizza bake that the kids love. So we will have that as well on Tuesday. Wednesday, again, we're going to do leftovers. Um, the cool thing about the crock pot pizza bake is I can throw it in the thermoses for the kids and they can actually take it to school. It's still warm. They enjoy it. So I may actually throw that in for one of their lunches this week. You guys know I love to cook, but I love to cook simple. And my crock pot is my favorite favorite, favorite thing. So on Wednesday, I'm going to make a crock pot chicken burrito bowl. It is super good. You can serve it with tortillas, but we just eat it with um, the rice and the chicken and all the goodies with it, plain. Um, super easy to make, and it's really, really good. Thursday, we definitely have to do leftovers. We have so much food there that we definitely have to take advantage of eating it up and not having it go to waste. Friday, I am going to be making apple sausage with pasta and peppers. Oh my goodness, that apple sausage from um, Aldi is so delicious. And um, you definitely need to try it out. Now, I've tried the apple sausage. I think there's a basil and tomato. I've not tried that because I, I am not a sausage person. Um, but I really like the apple sausage at Aldi. So definitely give it a try. And then Saturday... I know the kids wanted, they love their home run in pizza. So pizza night, leftovers, whatever we can do. And normally on Saturday, um, leftovers, I'm really particular. It's like two to three days, three days at the max. So if I notice that I have like some of the crock pot chicken burrito bowl, we'll get some leftovers together or things like, well, that would actually be going on four days. So I probably, no, that would be three days. You know, if I have anything that I can give to my parents or you know, so we're trying to avoid as much waste as we possibly can. This particular um, printout, and you won't be able to see, it's from sweetbelarus.com. I mean, you don't even need this, obviously. I think I'm just going to go with a spiral form next week um, and just jot down what I'm going to be using. Now, things that I really need to get next week, I'm starting a shopping list. We need some fruit. We need grapes, pineapple. Those are the fruits I've been craving lately. Chicken and veggies so far are on okay, the so list. So it's that simple. Just planning a few meals is really going to save you a lot of money. It's, it's so crazy, but it really is that simple. Don't forget to use your binder for your meal plans. Um, put them in there so periodically you can go through, see what you haven't made in a while, so you can kind of keep a variety of foods for the family so everybody stays happy. Um, I know, you know, my family is pretty good on giving me feedback as to what they want. My husband wants me to make crock pot chicken and dumplings. He loves that. And I love that recipe because it makes a ton of it. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. Heads up, I did buy another crock pot. Now it's just an electric crock pot crock pot with um, three program, it's not programmable, so it just has warm, high, low. That's it. So you can't like just set it and it's going to turn it off. You have to keep an eye on it, obviously, but it's a Bella crock pot. And if you need a second crock pot or if you're starting, if you just want to try some crock pot meals and you're home and you can watch your crock pot, this was an awesome deal. Now it's currently $19.99 and I'll link the exact one that I got in the description box below from Target, but I caught it on sale for $16.99 and I used my Target red card. So it was like dirt cheap, so it was definitely worth trying. And now when I'm meal planning, if I wanna make two meals for the week in one day, it makes it super, super easy for me. And one thing I'm loving are those crock pot liners that I am currently out of, but I definitely recommend those Reynolds crock pot liners as well. Really quick, a tip of the week. When you go grocery shopping, before you go to that checkout, check your cart, 
look through your cart, get rid of at least two to three items. You're going to easily be able to do that. Now, if you're just going to the grocery store to pick up one or two or three or four items, you won't be able to do it. But if you're doing like a weekly haul like I did this week, go through your cart, take out two to three items at least. And if you can take out more, definitely do that. Um, be sure before you go to the grocery store to check your pantry and make sure that you are using up the items that you have before you buy more. So whether it's corn or beans, things that may have a long expiration date, definitely use the ones that you have um, and you can always replenish them when your pantry becomes low. As always, I hope you guys are excited to see this video. I'm excited to be back because it, it holds me accountable for my meals and planning and it really helps me. I'm not kidding. These videos truly help me because I have to stay on point. A lot of them I'll do recipes for. If there's any um, meal in this video that I mentioned in the meal plan that you want to see a video on, definitely comment in the description box. Um, it makes it easier for me to prepare those videos for you. I do have a couple of recipe videos up that you may want to go ahead and check out as well. They're super easy. Again, I love to cook, but I'm a super easy cook. So until next week, I hope you guys have a blessed week. Good luck with your budget and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.